Barakatam Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekaha, Kodash, double honors to the elder apostles, elder bishops, great millstone taught us this truth. My name is Milkama, coming back with another video, Lord is edifying to the flock. And here is this uh, 4 minute and 38 second video. You can see on your screen, this is from NBC News, and it's um, using this on the Fair Use Act. Um, uh, no monetary gain is being uh, contained or uh, given to me by using this uh, this piece here. Uh, you can see on the screen it says Congress to hold hearing on UAPs in November. Okay, so this is it was 21 hours ago, and this is uh, December's. Uh, a few days from now, I believe the day was the 29th. Uh, so it's what, two more days. Uh, that'll be the 31st. Wait a minute, yeah. Two, a couple more days after the day, it'll be the 31st. So this is less than a week. Uh, I don't know exactly what day they're saying, but um, so they're holding an, uh, some type of briefing showing you that these uh what they call ufos or, or uaps are, are are still being seen so with that being said you already know what scripture i'm gonna go to so i'm gonna let you hear what this guy or guys have to say and uh lord will not come back with the precept and it's at a fine to the flock now, for 17 days, mysterious drones, or UAPs, flew over a U.S. military base, leaving the Pentagon confused and unsure as to who was behind it, and that still seems to be the case. But now Did he say seven t for 17 days? Is that 17 straight days? Let's, let's try that again. Now, for 17 days, mysterious drones, or UAPs, flew over a U.S. military base, leaving the Pentagon confused and unsure as to who was behind it, and that still seems to be the case. Okay, I guess 17 days straight. I'm going to take that off because it's a little bit behind. It's a delay on it. So, and this is under the Pentagon. So, the Pentagon is... Uh, I guess you call it the headquarters of the United States uh, military. Uh, what a matter of fact. Let's let's see if we can get with the uh, Pentagon. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here's the Pentagon. Uh, get some better images of the Pentagon. Now, you, we know the Pentagon was supposed to be one of the the spots where one of the aircrafts was hijacked and uh, plowed into the side of this this place here. So. You see, they have the, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's a whole heap of shit behind these different signs and symbols that's, that's you know, wicked. Okay. So let's see if we can get some information with the Pentagon. Okay, it says the Pentagon is the headquarters building of the United States Department of Defense in Arlington County, Virginia, across the Panama, uh, Potomac River from Washington, D.C. The building was uh, constructed and accelerated a uh, scheduling during World War II. Uh, let's see if it has it. It says, what's the purpose of the U.S. Pentagon? It says the uh, institutional status of the Pentagon derives from its role as as nerve center of the country armed forces. Okay, so this is the largest of the U.S. government institute. So this is what the Pentagon is used for. Okay, it's for the it's the defense, and uh, 
you know so it's a beautiful thing that the uh these uaps uh 17 days so uh was, was showing up at the pentagon matter of fact with that being said i just gotta bring it out this is zachariah chapter 5 verse 1 it says i turned and lift up my eyes and looked and behold a flying roll and this is what the pentagon is talking about they call it uaps but uh the prophet um Zechariah and some more the prophets in the scriptures uh seen uh what they call the UAPs which the scripture call them uh, the chariots of the most high okay and the most high name is Yahweh and the son's name is Yahweh Shah okay it says and he said unto me this is the angel talking to the prophet Zechariah he said what seest thou and I answer and said, and I answer, I see a flying row. What, you know, the United States call a UAP. It says, the length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. So that's a, some, one of some of the compact type, probably one of the ones they seen measuring out to be. Then he said unto me, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. Okay, so this UAP that they talking about, which is the, the scripture said is thousands upon thousands. You know, I believe that's the one that's in the uh, in the Book of Psalms. Okay, so guess what? Uh, America is gonna have to actually face off with these U uh, UAPs as they call them. So let's we'll go back to that. Let's let let's let them speak. Now they say they wasn't shot down, but they can't shoot them down. Now they talking about that area fifty one. They just making up some hoopla. You know that's just a bunch of bull crap. You know, hey, these UFOs that they call them, or UAPs, cannot be shot down. It's impossible. You know, you I've seen videos of them. You know, um, I, I guess they was in what they call the Middle East, and they was trying to shoot down one. You was just toying with them, man. They had they, you know, they were shooting. You seen lasers. It, it was just, you know, it's untouchable. You know, they they trying to. Make it seem like they're, you know, you know, United States is this big bad bully, and it, you know, it, it gave him a pass. You know, hey, you've been wasting your time, man, trying to shoot a UAP down, or what they call a UAP, which is this is a cherries of your how about Shimi Abishai. Let's finish that up. It says, and he says to me, this is the, this is the curse that go forth over the face of the whole earth. Okay. It says for everyone that still it shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that swear shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So this is the curse that go forth over the whole earth. Okay. So this is the judgment of mainly Babylon the Great. But, it, you know, these UAPs are going to touch a little here and there all over the earth. But the earth would not be destroyed. Okay? Only Babylon the Great, which is America, and, and Israel. Okay? You may have a few countries here and there, but the earth abided forever. But this is the judgment that uh, that's going to touch, you know, the house of the thief, which is in America. Okay.
you know, and now they, you know, they just, you know, they saying this guy, oh, the congressional hearing that they're going to have in mid-November, that they're going to bring out some things that uh, a lot of people could learn from. You know, the things they're going to bring out is not going to be the truth, you know. It's going to be impossible. They probably going to talk about what uh, what was his name, President uh, Ronald Reagan. You know the uh, United States one. I forgot what uh, which president he was, but matter of fact, let's just grab it. Okay. Uh, Okay, Ronald Reagan, he's the 40th U.S. president. And this, this guy here said, had a quote about how, what, what would they, all the nations would put aside their differences to fight against uh, a, a foreign invader. Which the foreign invader will be Yahweh Shah and the angels. Okay? <laughs> yeah, so they know, you know, um, that Yahweh Shah is coming back, man. And he will not meet thee as a man. Yeah, that's what I'm going to name it. <laughs> he will not meet thee as a man. And, you know, I've tried to get, you know, to, uh, you know, a point of trying to name the, you know, the videos that I do. A lot of times I never have a, you know, a title. But through the spirit of Yahweh by Shimmy Abishai, I will name it. He would not meet thee as a man. So he's a filmmaker. So you know he's gonna put a lot of you know, they're gonna it's gonna be a lot of BS in there, you know. Uh you know, uh, as far as what it is and who's in there and where they come from and what's their objective, okay, concerning Earth, okay? Now, I would, let's see, what was it, Jeremy Cobell, okay, is a filmmaker. Now, I, I would love to send Mr. Jeremy Cobell uh, some scriptures, you know, so he can truly see, well, you know, who's to say if he'll see it or not, but you know. But it ain't want to be transparent at all. You know, it just be what Esau wants you to know. Okay, let's finish this. Uh, let's see. Zechariah chapter 5, verse 4. It says, I will bring it forth, said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. And that's America. Okay, it says, Into the house of him that swear falsely by my name, and it shall remain in the midst of, the, of his house, and shall consume it with the temple thereof and the stones thereof. Okay, so that's it. Hey, the Lord is going to uh, put a hell of fire judgment. Uh, let's get a. Let's see. 
Let's see. I think this is the one I'm looking for. Uh, it's in Psalm. I think it was Psalms 90. I thought it was. Wait a minute. I thought it was Psalms 10,000. I put 10,000. Ten thousand angels. I I know it's in Psalms. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Um, let's see. I got the scriptures next to me. Uh, I could have sworn it was. I can't think of it. Or how does it go? I, th I thought it was uh, Psalms 90. Yeah, so Esau believes that. Oh, maybe it's 60. Is it 68? Nope, that's not it either. Yeah, it is. Psalm 68 and 17. Salaki. Dwadi Yahweh Bashim Shai. Psalm. Is it 68, 19, there we go, the 17, so like it. it says the chariots of the most high are 20,000, even thousands of angels, the Lord Yahweh, Shai is among them as in Sinai and the holy place. Okay. So this is what it is. Let's let him speak a little bit more. Now you now this Esau, you know, saying he don't fear nothing. Hey, the Lord say, hey, every knee shall bow when he come. So you believe uh, this guy here is gonna be standing up? Hell no. Let's go on a little bit further. It's uh, let's go to around. Yeah, right up in here. Around thirty four, thirty three. Uh, 
Psalm 68 and 32, it says, Sing unto the Most High, ye kings of the earth. Oh, sing praises unto the Lord. It's a lie. It says, To him that rided upon the heavens, of heavens, which were of old, lo, he doth send out the voice, and that a mighty voice. It says, Ascribe ye, uh, Ascribe ye strength unto the Most High. His excellency is over Israel, and his strength is in the clouds. Yeah. What are the clouds? The chariots. <laughs> it says, O, o power, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The Most High of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be the Most High. Okay. So, hey. Hey, you're going to see that terribleness, man, while you're trying to be proud. Hey, that's Esau, man. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. How does the scripture go? Matter of fact, let's see if we can grab it. Uh... It's the beginning of knowledge, ain't the beginnings of the wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it's showing you how Esau is. He don't he has no fear of the Lord until he, he comes up, man. I, the one I was reading was in uh uh what was it? The Lord ain't with him. Here we go. He says Psalms 25 and 14 says, The secret of the Lord, Yahweh, is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. You know, the covenant ain't for Esau anyway. But the one I was reading last night was uh, Zachariah. No, uh, what was it? The book of Sarah, chapter 1. Okay. And it's talking about the fear of the Lord and... um. Matter of fact, let's go a little bit further. That's Ecclesiasticus. The one I was going going into uh, was uh, so like I went too far. Okay, I okay. I went too far, so like Ecclesiastes one. Yeah, see, what it says. Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 18, it says, The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish both with our the gifts of the Most High and it enlarges their rejoicing that love Him. Okay? There's a 1 and 1. Uh, Ecclesiastes 1 and 16, it says, to fear the Lord is the fullness of wisdom and filled men with their fruit. There is the one. Ecclesiastes 1 and 14. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and it was created with the uh, full, for faithful in the womb. Okay, so you got this guy here saying he don't fear nothing. Hey, I'll show the Lord to be there when he see the real deal man when the lord is on uh you know on top of, on, on top of the mountain man on top of that uh what they call a uap okay as a so-called black man you know
Yeah, you gonna you gonna see the truth, man. You know, you got Esau thinking, "Hey, this this is a this is a toy, man." You know, he's really scared. You can hear it in his voice, man. <laughs> this nigga's voice is trembling and all kinds of shit. You know. Hey, he trying to. He what's the word? He's trying to hold faith. Uh, you know. Trying to trying to trying to hold faith. You know, like you're playing poker. Hey, man. Hey, you just told me what's in your hand. Okay, this is a uh, second edge is thirteen. Let's get to the point. Okay, cause uh. Matter of fact, it's pretty long, but I'm... Okay, let's get to it right here. Here we go. Okay, it says, uh, verse 6. Second Edges 13 and 6, it says, but I, but I beheld, and lo, he had graven himself a great mountain and flew up, flew up upon it. And this is talking about Yahweh Shai flying upon his, his chariot. So he's going to be ghost riding, as, as we say, you know, like they say, ghost ride the whip, you know, no hands, right? But I would have seen the region or the place where uh, the hill was graven, and I could not. So like we read in uh, the book of Zechariah, hey, this is going to be supersized, you know, it ain't going to be as small as the ones they've been seeing. Okay, it's not gonna be like the ones you've been seeing, you know, the ones that the Lord is uh previewing. He having uh, you know, these these people see, you know, like like now he been letting them see just a little something, you know, and uh, Jeremy Cor Corbell, you know, he he's this guy. He 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 seems. Just, he got big nuts right now, okay? This guy here on the right. The guy on the left looking like, you must don't know what the hell going on, you know? That says, verse 7, that says, But I would have seen the region or place where, where out the hill was graven and could not. So this is a huge, what they call a UAP. It says, and after this, I beheld and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him, and uh, and that's the uh, you know the nations, you know that uh, you know come to fight in the war, you know, fighting among themselves, which you know we're gonna see that in this this particular scripture happen, you know, in, in, in real time, in the near future. Okay. It says to subdue him was so afraid, and yet there's fight. So these, this is these are army, these nations fighting amongst themselves. But they see Yahweh Shah come in the midst of it, <laughs> and he said they was afraid. So what make you think that you're not gonna be afraid, Mister Jeremy Carvel? Okay, yeah. It says and yet there's fight, and lo. As he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lift up hand, lift up his hand, nor held sword, nor in, nor any instrument of war. Hey, right, so the Lord is hey, it's you know he gonna allow this, you know the devastation to happen, man. You know, just by thinking about it. <laughs> See how important it is, man. When you have your you know, when you think of something, so it's best, you know, us, you know, that's in this truth to have good thoughts or thoughts that what we want to happen. You know, hey, we are the prince of the power. You know, we're in a low level right now, but, you know, and we do have, you know, these different thoughts that come into our heads. You know, we just have to, uh, you know, curse them thoughts out, you know. You know, uh, one of the Hebrew uh, 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 sayings, you know, to uh, uh, get this devil out of your head is uh, uh, Nadad Manyan Yan Shatan. 
Okay. Flee from. Uh, flee. Uh, I believe that's how you say flee from me. Uh, Satan. You know. But yeah, man. So. I ain't going to go too far. I'm going to go ahead and hit it right there. And give all praise and honor to Yahweh Shem Abishai, Bahashem Rikai Kodash. Until the next time I say Shalom.